No kidding. Yeah, you're full, of, you're full of amazing no, things. No, I'm alert. I'm alert. I wonder if you know my next two guests. I'll bet I do. I'll bet you don't. They're the two young stars of the controversial flick, as they say in the trades, a brisky point. They didn't know each other until they made this film, and presumably do now. Uh, they live <laughs> with a number of other people in a commune outside Boston, and I have never talked to anyone who lived in a commune. Or, and uh, we welcome, please, Daria Halpern and Mark Freshett. Yes. Mr. Brooks, Mr. Reed, do you know uh, one another? I feel at a loss, and it's a terrible thing to have to do, but I, I won't see the Brisky Point until next week. So, uh, I, but I will see it then, and uh, I'll, I'll, um, I assume we can be friends without my having seen the Brisky Point. Sure. Yeah. Probably more opportunity now than after. <laughs> more now than ever? Yeah. Well, you were both not actors when you made that film. I mean, you were not experienced actors, either one of you. you uh, that's true. Yeah. yeah. And this happens all the time, and people wonder how it comes about. Uh, where, where did they find you, for example, Mark? On a bus stop. On a bus stop? Waiting for a bus. Yeah. There's more to the story, right? Uh, no, that's about it. I was on a bus stop. There was, um... You can't get into much when you're waiting for a bus, you know? You're there and you're waiting. No. Not, not a fight, for example? There was a verbal argument. Oh, I, I had been clued in that you were in a fight with someone and, and you were discovered uh, fighting. Just a verbal thing. Oh, verbal, yeah. not actually striking one another. No, I see he was on the third floor of an apartment building, so it was all I could do to shout, you know. Oh, yeah. Difficult to fight with a man on the third floor of an apartment building. Would you agree, Mr. Mr. Brooks? <laughs> yes, it's, it's, you've got to yell. Loud. You have to, the invective has to carry, so to speak. Yeah, right. Did, uh, did you win? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I got the job and he didn't. I don't know who won the fight. That's winning. How do you uh, like the way the film came out? Don't all talk at once. Many times. There are parts of it I, I like quite a bit. Yeah. You know, but I can't even talk to you about it because you haven't seen it. You know? Oh, but so you can talk to me even more freely about it because I have no prejudices. Oh, well, so I haven't seen it all, so I, I'm not... My well, mind then save closed, your money. Isn't well, closed on the, a... Save my money? Sure. You're not recommending your own film? I'm not... That's certainly a relief on a show, isn't it, to have someone come on and yeah. non-plug their film? No, I don't want a non-plugger. I just say there's a lot in it that, um, that I was disappointed in. Yeah. And uh, there's a lot that was attempted that wasn't achieved. Are you interested in making film uh, from doing this, from this experience? I mean, would you want to direct a film yourself, for example? Or? Not right away, no. I don't yeah. want anybody on my back about things like that. Yeah. Okay, Daria, talk, talk. Time is going. Say something. <laughs> Just say hello. <laughs> hi, a dick. Say, Thank you. say, talk. Say, hi, a dick. You're gonna I have be nothing a, to say yet. You're going to kill him. You're going to wild him. Don't be afraid of anything. <laughs> He's 5'3". You'll see when he stands up. Nothing to be afraid. Yeah, that's why I, I'm never seen standing. They, they have someone else do the monologue. That's actually a devil. <laughs> there, but... Maria, where did you come from? I, I don't say the wings. I mean, you obviously... San Francisco. Yeah. Anyone else have a question? <laughs> I, I, I would... Rex. Well, I'm very curious about what it's like to work with Antonioni because he is certainly as controversial as any of his films. This may not be the time to find out, but I, I, I would be interested. Well, too. I mean, I don't know any actors who have worked with him before, and I just wonder, is he, because I've read a lot of things, and in fact, I did an interview with him once in which he said he despises actors and he has no yeah. use for them at all, and he, actors are like cattle. You m walk them through a fence, he said. And uh, did he, did, did you feel did you that? Did the interview where that came out in? Uh, I think that's come out in several interviews, yeah, but I, I wrote one. That. But I'm just curious, is he good with actors or, or not? Did you feel that you were helped? Do uh, you... It depends on your personal relationship with him, if you have one with him. And this is a hard part, because he's a very distant man, you know. He stays pretty withdrawn. I felt very close to him personally, but it didn't come through in the film. Was I it? felt very different from him, very separated from him through most of the film. I think that also came through. Did you ever get sore at him? Yeah. Sure. Yeah? Yeah. 
What were the circumstances? I don't even remember, but we got pretty sore yeah. a couple times. And how would this get resolved? Who did he win? It, you know, you're not in it to win. You're in it to mm -hmm. uh, to get something going. I mean, I was desperate, you know, working with a guy with his reputation and with what he knows about cinema. I wanted to learn something, yeah. but he wasn't teaching, so I got mad. Oh, I know what I wanted to ask you about. Oh yeah. Yeah. You were, on a, you were on a net. God. <laughs> <laughs> I did that to Thank relieve you. him. You, you, uh, you, you were on a show, and as I get it, and I can't get the story straight, I hear a different story from several different people, and I didn't see the show. You got in sort of an argument with some of the other guests, and then you, the, the argument continued after the show. Do you know the incident I'm referring to? <laughs> vaguely. Vaguely, yeah. Could you tell it even vaguely? Well, what exactly do you want to know? Oh, nothing. I just thought I'd bring it up. <laughs> oh! Uh, no, this was a, a television program, not unlike this one. And uh, you, you, there was a yeah, it was... certain uh, a, a contretemps, to use Mr. Brooks' word, among the guests. It was a night that uh, Mr. Hoffman wore a shirt made out of the flag. Yeah. Yeah. Now you pick up from there. Well, what do you want to know about it? The rest of it. The rest of it? Well, that was, uh... It was quite a show. <laughs> you know, they blanked out all the pictures of Abby. Mm -hmm. And uh, pretty much from the time he came on the show, it, uh... The content of the show, it just grew more and more chaotic. Yeah. Uh, opposing political and ideological viewpoints spilling all over the stage. And nothing, of course, was resolved. Mm -hmm. And uh, left everybody with just that feeling that nothing had been resolved. You know? Did I feel responsible for it. Did you actually get in a fight with the, with the, with the guy from Yale? Yeah. yeah. That was I, about the best thing that happened. Was it? Something was really created from that. Hmm. Yeah, he got a lump on his jaw over about that big. <laughs> but did? that's probably the only thing that did come out of the show. You mean a guy from Yale lost a fight? Uh, you live on a commune, is that right? Or is that the word you'd use to apply to no. what you live on? No. Then I'm wrong. Is it's that what you're saying? Commune. It's not a commune. It's a, what would you call it? A bread box, something. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought I was using the right word. It's I a community, mean. but the purpose of the community is not community. communal living. It's a community. But seriously, yeah. is it anything like uh, the kind of thing they showed in Easy Rider, just... People, no, you know, definitely no. not. Right, Categorically, well, technically, any other way. It's nothing no. like that. No. That's everybody's image of a community. Well, I mean, you know, it's kind of a square. The, yeah. the community is for one purpose, mm -hmm. and that's to serve Mel Lyman, who's the leader and founder of that community. And it's moving Mel spirit. Oh, yes, it's I read an article about him. You did? What article makes... did you read? I don't know, because it was Xerox, but it was in a magazine. I got a chance to say something, yeah. and you're interrupting me. That's right. <laughs> she was on one of her talking sprees. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say now. Oh, no, she forgot what it was. Really cool. well, we'll give you a moment to think of it. My child, we'll be right back.